So the show is called Say Something, Do Something. And it's the product of eight weeks that we've spent with this incredible ensemble, both of younger people, so teenagers, and seniors over 55. And essentially our starting point was to get this group together and basically just ask them a lot of questions about themselves, their views of the world, and their views of theatre, and see where we ended up. What's on your bucket list? This is ours. Free all children in detention. Skydiving. Break a fake beer bottle on stage. Yeah, I'd never worked with such a broad age range of performance before. I was really pleasantly surprised to see like how well the group merged and how people seem to actively really want to be there and actively want to listen to each other and learn from one another, which I think is really awesome. Yeah. It brought out the best in, in everyone. It's just a fun experience getting to know them, getting them to know their stories and their thoughts on things. It's just something, you know, very interesting. We do a whole stereotypes of each generation. That influences the way we interact, I suppose. So this is a chance to interact in an entirely different way. This is something new for us. We're starting off unscripted, nothing to lose and everything to learn, basically. When I saw this advertisement, I thought, hey, I've got to check this out. I've been so intrigued by the whole process. Say what you want to say, do what you want to do. Uh, it was very cool and uh, it's a new experience and a new theatre. Okay, here we go. They have loads of knowledge and they have loads of ideas. Every workshop would begin with about 15 minutes of just catching up. And we didn't even have to spark that. From that really effortless, trust that they all had in each other, that was like an incredible platform to make this show. Camaraderie between the young and the old is just simply superb. We just work together beautifully, so that's a great thing. This show is a kind of beautiful mash of the group's stories, ideas, hopes, fears. Yeah, we're sampling moments of their life, we're sampling their opinions. So it made lots of sense for there to be a video DJ, but it also made sense to have a audio DJ. We're working with the local DJ, DJ Offit, who's incredible as well. Now I have all these wonderful technical people around me, makes, makes me feel quite important. We got the group to bring in photos of different moments of their lives and we asked them stories and told stories about that. This show mainly focuses on your story, what you believe in. Telling the story it makes me feel like, makes me feel happy, like I can tell that story, like I actually have a story to tell. Older people in general are thought of as doing much more thinking and talking than action and I guess the stereotype of young people is doing a lot of action and not so much talking and thinking in some ways and so it's been great to have the energy of young people and and also to see where it's coming from I mean the passion for change and for uh, looking to the future. The shape of the show it's kind of in a circle but then kind of bendy wonky shape. It's very democratic Everybody's views and, and experiences are represented. We wanted this show to be active, that it's not just speaking at the audience, that we are saying and doing something in the hour we're with them. There's something happening, there's something active about the show. It has to be alive. Can theatre change the world? How can we make change and what are different change-making strategies? Like maybe theatre can't change the world, but being involved in a creative process does change us, and maybe that would have a ripple. Hello. I'm Donald J. Trump. This process has changed us, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Just being involved in such, with such a generous group. Those different people, those different age groups involved in a creative process that tears down and twists and subverts the stereotypes that are often pushed on those groups. And I think there was definitely a mutual respect. By the end of it, we all had a mutual respect for each other and I think we're all going to miss <laughs> that hanging out together. This process I've been through have changed the way that I've looked at the community. I felt more included here and more confidence when I'm speaking to people. <laughs> Wonderful. I have something important to say. Something that will change, I think. Something that will change the world. I just don't know what it is yet. I'm just hopeful that people from 
Leichhardt, which is where I live, will come to see this show because it could be quite riveting for them to see. I hope they go away discussing young people. I hope they see a value in drama, not as a indulgence, but as, as something that's life-giving and has something to communicate. If I was given another chance of acting with this group again and doing this kind of theatre, I certainly will. You really need very trusting, very brave people to direct and engage in something like this. I very much hope we have an opportunity to do it again. Getting to meet new these people and just working together as a team is just something you couldn't do anywhere else, really. Like, it's just us having fun, like joking around, working hard, like that's what we do. And just, I w wouldn't see this anywhere else, really. So there. Yeah. The community is just a lovely place to be at the moment. I have no idea how this will change the world, but every now and then I might connect with someone in a way that sparks something for them or something for me.